Hi, I'm not really going to do an intro. I'm just going to start a vlog of art. So it's Saturday and I have at spring break. So I don't have any work today or really any schoolwork. And then tomorrow, same thing. Um, I have an obligation at 12.30 to go pick up a friend. But before then, I just get to paint. So I will show you what I'm doing. Okay, hey. It's Sunday. I have school tomorrow. That is evil. That is horrible. But I hope to finish the painting today. Here's what we got going on. But today is such a pleasant day. It is so nice outside and I've been outside and I have... Look. Okay, so it's Sunday now of like next week. Like a whole school week has gone by. I didn't film it all during that because I was really busy. So yeah, um, hopefully today I will finish this and that will be the wrap up of this video. And also it's due like tomorrow morning. So yeah, I don't, I don't think I'll have any trouble with it. See, it's not too much left to do. It's just like the hardest part is left. So yeah, but I've got work from three till eight and then maybe I'll finish it before then. I won't. Um, and then maybe I'll come home and finish that and then do some schoolwork. Hopefully. Okay, cool. Here's my hair and makeup. For going out. Anyway, I still have like an hour in my room. It's kind of clean enough. I don't even know if we're going to be coming back to my room. So, yeah. But I was... I've been working on this like vulture painting. And the that ties into my um portfolio. My portfolio question is... What is the cultural significance of cars? Um, so like the, the, the vulture is about like roadkill, right? You know, vultures eat roadkill, duh. And I, I tried the painting once in oil and I hated it and I painted it over and I tried it again in acrylic on paper. And I think I'm not going anywhere with that one either. And I need to paint, paint it over also. And I think my only chance of like using the same like reference, excuse me, but like doing it well is maybe to do like a monochromatic either oil or acrylic painting so it's gonna be my third shot which like okay I have to take a picture of this before I paint it over so I can include it in my portfolio as revision but I'll show you what I'm talking about okay so there was originally something on this canvas board and I painted it over. Um, I like the texture that's happening now. Yeah. But I hated that in oil. And now I tried an acrylic. And it's just on the floor. So let me see if I can roll it out so you can see. Here. Okay. Well, you can see part of it at a time. So there's three vultures on a lamppost. And I just don't like how like shiny the paint is. Or I don't really like the texture. So I think I'm also going to paint over that which is kind of frustrating but I think I know where I'm going now I think I've been like making a simple subject trying to make it too complex so I think monochromatic is the way to go for that um yeah all right I think I'm gonna do a second layer of gesso now not because I really want to but because I just have like a lot of extra paint left over that I already mixed up this is a mixture of just like microgram gesso, um, some matte medium, and a little bit of yellow paint, and a little bit less of quinacridone magenta paint. So it gets a nice beige. Oh my god, and there's a hair in there. So it's, I'm doing this pink Cadillac <clears throat> and I put all this like glitter all over it. Yeah, you can see. Um, and I'm loving it so much. There is a lot more to be done, but like, I'm loving the texture. I don't know how much of that you can see, but it's like very textured and it's on these pieces of paper that have been taped together. And so that's for AP art. And I am going to put like, 
it's it's um I already did like a red pen very detailed sketch of this same thing so I will put that in and you guys can see that and so but my art teacher wanted me to do another one and yeah that's what I'm working on but I'm loving it so far and it's just been like so loose and so fun and it's just like oil paint um, which I haven't oil painted in a while, and I was feeling bad about, because I'm like, I was like, I don't know, feeling like, if you're not oil painting all the time, you're not like a real artist, or like, some kind of weird thing where if I'm doing more acrylic painting than oil painting, I'm like a fake, which is so obviously not true, because so many great artists work in acrylic, but I apparently cannot realize that. But this is making me feel better now than doing with this well and oil, I think. It's maybe not, like, technically well, but I'm just, like, loving what's happening with it. Yeah. Alright, here's a progress I made. Um, yeah. I think maybe now that I look at it in the camera, this should be more blended. Like, this line, like, these lines are intentionally not blended. But this one, I think if it were more blended, it would show, like, form better. Um, Because this is, like, a curved surface. Anyway, I'm going to be done with this for now, I think. And I'm going to get dressed and clean my room. Good stuff. Okay, update. I'm feeling very tired of this right now because I know I'm about to have to do the most detailed and difficult part. And I don't want to. Um, so, I see if I need this one with my phone fall. My camera, my beloved film camera, the flash is not working. Which, like, that means all my photos are going to be underexposed unless I take them in, like, super bright daylight because that's kind of how it is. And I don't think it's a fixable thing. This was, like, 20 or 30 bucks. But I've tried new batteries and, it like, the light turns on, it just doesn't, like, make the charging up noise. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to have to buy a new film camera, but if I do... That's a little exciting, but it's also, I don't want to spend the money, and I would just as soon rather have a camera that just, like, lasted, but obviously, it's lasted long enough, it's lasted, like, six months, so. Yay, I guess maybe I get to upgrade now, but I was also kind of hoping to buy paint. Art supplies are expensive, man. That's the thing. <laughs> um, but it's exciting, it's exciting to buy a new camera. And also, I'm kind of right now trying not to just, like, buy new art supplies, like, when I'm close to running out. Only if I, like, completely run out. Because, like, it saves money that way. But also then, in, like, the space in between, I can try, um, you know, different things or different colors or mixing different supplies. And that, um, is fun and will maybe lead to cool results. So that's kind of the idea behind that. But, so I think maybe right now I might break out some acrylic paint and do some, like, really sloppy, like, portraiture type of thing. Um, and then I'll get back to that. So, I just have that and a little bit of schoolwork to do before tomorrow, and I've got plenty of time. Um, so, yeah. So I did this little acrylic portrait thing in my sketchbook, and it's very fun, it's very, like, graphic, I like it a lot. Um, I got the picture reference from Pinterest, and because I stuck to that pretty close, I'm gonna, um, see if I can put, like, the credits or whatever in the video. Um, yeah, or in my description, but I like how this turned out. It kind of looks like corporate, if that makes sense, but it is still fun. And it looks kind of gross. I'm working on my cake and my soda, and I have incense, and I just got a new record I get to listen to, and I got my painting, and it's so pleasant, so. Yes. I don't know. Maybe I will let you know when I am done or when I'm having more thoughts about the painting. Sorry if you get motion sickness. This, that would suck. <laughs> okay. Okay, update. You can literally tell how long, how like ongoing this vlog has been because my roots are growing in. Oh my God, my hair grows pretty fast, but still. I literally was like for t like a week and a half procrastinating on finishing like 20 minutes of painting. It's done. Okay, and oh, sketchbook tour coming up maybe within in the next month or two. Okay, I'm actually gonna post this video because I haven't posted videos and, but let me 
catch you up on this. It's done. Not super proud of it, but it's cool. Like, I like it, and it's really fun. Um, so what's next? No, wait, well, that, that can wait till the end. But um, as an update, I've been getting super into film photography a little bit. Um, I think I was maybe telling you guys about how I ordered a camera. Anyway, I don't know. Olympus film camera off of Craigslist. I picked it up. Didn't have a lens, so I had to figure out the lens thing, and I bought the wrong lens at first, and I had to return it. Anyway, I got the lens figured out. And then on Saturday, it's Sunday night, and Saturday I went out to a waterfall to take pictures, and I, um, the whole, like, roll of film I shot and I got back and I'm like, these photos are gonna be so good. I had such a fun time and I took the whole roll of photos and I was just having such a great time. I'm like, these are gonna be so good and like so pretty and the sunlight is gonna be great. And I got back and my friend came over and he was like, these, what like, um, <laughs> what ISO did you have it at the whole time? And I'm like, I turned it all the way down to 25 because I didn't realize that dial was the, I so, uh, I so, I, um, I'm like, yeah, it was at 25 the whole time. And I know, I know normally it's at like 200 or 400. And I'm like, shit, they're all going to be black, aren't they? And he's like, yeah, yeah, they all are probably. Um, so I went, all that work for nothing, but maybe they'll turn out some kind of way. Anyway, I also souped them in like so many different things. I was putting like sprinkles and oil and like lemon juice and tahine and like just crazy stuff in there pickle juice i think we had some of and um soap and hand sanitizer and so hopefully that'll turn out something neat even if it was all black it'll still be something sort of psychedelic-y but i've also taken a another role a while ago in in new york Yes, New York. And it was this, like, old vintage-looking pink laundromat. And so I will um, probably put those pictures in my next vlog when I, like, develop. Because I still have to go back to school and mix up some developing stuff. And I also took another role, like, in, like, the past two days of just, like, stuff around my house and, like, the lake. Um, so, yeah. I'm really thinking about for summer when I'm not going to be in school buying a, like film kit, a film developing kit, because I'm, I'm comfortable with developing my own film, to be honest. It's just one of those really easy ones from, like, Cinestill that's, like, the two-step process, and you could literally do it in your bathroom. Um, I know how to treat, I know how to, you know, be careful of the chemicals and stuff, and my bathroom has a fan. <laughs> um, and yeah, the big thing, though, is that's, that's expensive, but I'd also have to buy a scanner, and so I'd be into that for some money, you know, so I'm really, I'm thinking maybe um, I have some other expenses I have to pay for, but after that I will save my money from my check and hopefully get that before summer. Yeah, as long as I get it before summer, it's fine. Anyway, this has been 3 minutes and 47 seconds and me just yapping on more than that now. So, um, I guess that's the end of this little vlog thing. Hopefully I'll have another one out next, like, Monday after the week, you know? Okay. Bye. Oh shit. Actually not by it because you didn't even really see the painting. Let me show you. Okay. And then it will be by. Look at her. Okay. Glare. But hopefully you can kind of see what's going on there. I got lazy because that was the end. Um, but as a whole, the sparkles it is so nice. It is such a fun time. Um, and it was really fun to do. And that's the big thing, that it was fun to do. So, hopefully I will do something soon. Also fun, again, during the week. Other than film. Like painting. Okay, really bye.